Zaran. Morning, everybody. We are Colin Dragon Kung Fu School from Girard, Ohio. And we are proud and honored to be able to do the opening ceremony again this year. This is uh, Three Generals Lion Dance. Wishing good luck to everyone. Oh, Thank you.
请大家起立。Please stand up for the national anthem. Evelyn Luo 女士，女士们、先生们，接下来有请匹兹堡中华文化中心总裁梁烨女士为此次文化节祝词。今年是梁烨女士第四年担任文化中心的总裁职位，感谢她一直以来为文化中心的建设与文化节的顺利筹办做出的贡献。让我们用热烈的掌声欢迎梁烨女士。Next, please welcome the president of Pittsburgh Chinese Cultural Center, Dr. Vivian Lian. This is the fourth year that Dr. Lian has served in this position. We want to appreciate all her efforts in building up the cultural center and planning out the cultural festival. Let's welcome Dr. Lian. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2023 Pittsburgh Chinese Cultural Festival. It is such a wonderful day we can spend here on this beautiful park to celebrate our eighth annual festival. And uh, I'd like to sincerely thank you or express my uh, appreciation of all our board members of the Chinese Cultural Center and our volunteers, our sponsors, and our vendors. Thank you for your endless support and effort and let's give them a big round loud applause thank you thank you for making this happen thank you now i'd like to welcome our honored guests thank you for coming and uh, please come to the stage and say a few words to our audience and uh, first, please welcome Mr. Ed Ganey, Mayor of Pittsburgh, onto the stage. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Can I have Dave and Doc come back up to on the stage? I'd like to read a proclamation. And congratulations on eight years. This is wonderful. When we talk about making our city safe, welcoming, and thriving, we can't do it unless we have diverse diversity throughout our city and throughout our region. And it's an honor to be here to celebrate Chinese culture, to thank you for being here, and to just continue to make our city more welcoming and more diverse. Because the more diverse our population, the more diverse our economy, the more diverse our business, the more diverse our friendship, and the world gets greater because we know more diversity. It's a beautiful day and it's an honor to be here. And whereas the mayor of the city is always pleased to recognize those organizations who through their dedicated endeavors, commitment to excellence, and cultural diversity bring honor to the city of Pittsburgh. And whereas the Pittsburgh Chinese Cultural Center is holding its eighth Pittsburgh Chinese Cultural Festival, which is the biggest annual event in the Pittsburgh Chinese community. Y'all should clap for that. 
And whereas, and whereas the Culture Festival will be held on Saturday, September 16, 2023, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Mellon Park, the festival will feature a full day of Asian cuisine, music, and dance performance, exhibits, and games. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, the mayor of this great city, recognize you in your eighth year of making this city more welcoming because of your level of diversity. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Please welcome Ms. Bahani, Bahani Patel on behalf of Allegheny County Executive Rich Fitzgerald and Mr. Razin Karu, Executive, Executive Director, Pennsylvania Governor's Advisory Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs onto the stage. I, uh, it's an honor to be here with all of you and representing the County Executive's Office. Uh, what a beautiful day to celebrate our Pittsburgh Chinese uh, community along with the art, uh, the dancing, the ethnic diversity, uh, and truly uh, just, you know, valuing uh, the diversity that the Chinese community brings, not only in terms of building a more welcoming region, but also uh, recognizing our small businesses, uh, the robust economy that they contribute to, as well as the student population uh, that we see on Pitt's campus, Carnegie Mellon's campus, students contributing to making this region more welcoming. Uh, I would also like to just thank uh, the vendors, uh, the organizers, um, and the volunteers who have made this possible today so that we can all enjoy a beautiful day of cultural uh, celebration. It's really wonderful to be with, your, with all of you today. Now let's welcome Mr. Razin Karu, Executive Director, Pennsylvania Governor's Advisor, Advisory Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Razim Karu, and I'm the executive director for Governor Shapiro's Advisory Commission on Asian American and Pacific Islanders Affairs. I'm so glad to be here joining the Chinese uh, community in uh, Pittsburgh uh, to join you uh, for this cultural festival over here. Since uh, it is also the season of the Mid-Autumn Festival, and we are also nearing the Chinese National Day, my boss, the governor, uh, Josh Shapiro, sent a letter of greeting to the Pittsburgh Chinese community which I'm going to read out. It is my honor to join Pennsylvania's Chinese community in recognizing the Mid-Autumn Festival. Pennsylvania thrives on its vibrant cultural heritage and Asian Americans represent a vital component of co our Commonwealth's diverse, ethnic and social community. Mid-Autumn Festival is a time to come together and recognize honor and give thanks for a bountiful agriculture harvest as well as the Chinese community's commitment to preserving and commemorating the rich history, culture, and diverse of Chinese heritage. The participants in these festivities celebrate reuniting with family members and loved ones, and the involvement of younger generations ensures that these wonderful traditions will continue for many years to come. The Chinese community should feel an immense sense of pride and accomplishment. It is my hope that our citizens will continue to recognize the innumerable contributions that Chinese Americans have made to our Commonwealth. And I'm certain that the Chinese community's legacy of service will continue to inspire others for years to come. On behalf of all Pennsylvanians, I'm honored to recognize this remarkable event with our, within our Commonwealth. Please accept my best wishes for continued success given under my hand and the seal of the governor at the city of Harrisburg this 23rd day of September 2023, the year of the Commonwealth, 248th, Governor Josh Shapiro. And I also have a greeting uh, for the Chinese, uh, the 74th Chinese National Day, which is going to be here in, in a couple of weeks. It is my honor to join Pennsylvania's Chinese community in recognizing the Chinese National Day. Pennsylvania thrives on its vibrant cultural heritage and Asian Americans represent a vital component of our Commonwealth's diverse, ethnic, and social community. This event highlights the Chinese community's commitment to preserving and celebrating the rich history, culture, and diversity of Chinese heritage. The participants in these festivities commemorate ancient customs 
involvement of younger generation ensures that these wonderful traditions will continue for many years to come. The Chinese community should feel an immense sense of pride and accomplishment. It is my hope that our citizens will continue to recognize the innumerable contributions that Chinese Americans have made to our commonwealth and I am certain that the Chinese community's legacy of service will continue to inspire others for the years to come. On behalf of all Pennsylvanians, I am honored to recognize this remarkable event within our commonwealth. Please accept my best wishes for continued success given under my hand and the seal of the governor at the city of Harrisburg this 25th day of September 2023, the year of our Commonwealth 248th, Governor Josh Shapiro. Next, uh, let's welcome our senior special advisor, advisor of the Allegheny Conference, Mr. Bill Flanagan. To be here with everybody and with greetings on behalf of the Allegheny Conference. For those of you who don't know the Allegheny Conference, it's an economic development organization that serves all 10 counties of southwestern Pennsylvania. You may know me better from my TV role as a host of WPXI's Our Region's Business Sundays at 11 on Channel 11, uh, which I've been doing for decades now in Pittsburgh. And, and it's wonderful to participate in an event like this and really recognize the important contributions of the Chinese community to Pittsburgh almost throughout its history. I mean, the Chinese community has had a presence here back in the 19th century as the steel industry was being born, but I think the most profound impact the community has had on Pittsburgh has been in the last 40 or 50 years as Pittsburgh had to fight a way back from the collapse of its industrial base in the late 1970s and early 1980s and really reinvent itself. I mean, we still make things here. We still have people who know more about material science than anybody else in the world who, who, are, who do business and who live here in Pittsburgh. But along the way, over the past 30 or 40 years, we've really reinvented our economy. We've, re we've reinvented it with life sciences, with science in general, with robotics and artificial intelligence, with the growth of our higher education sector, our great universities here in Pittsburgh, to create a much more diverse economy with tremendous potential for the future. And I think one of the less well understood aspects of that has been the disproportionate impact the Chinese community has had on that transition here in Pittsburgh, especially in those scientific and technical healthcare and life sciences specialties for which we've now carved out a global reputation. And so it's great to be able to welcome all of you here today to celebrate the contributions of the Chinese community. And what I guess I would say to everybody is, we need more of you. <laughs> so tell your friends and family all over the country that there's an enormous opportunity here in Pittsburgh. We really welcome people to come and help unlock all of that potential. And I personally believe that the Chinese community can make a really significant impact as we try to position the Pittsburgh region for the future. So congratulations, glad you have a wonderful day to celebrate, and I look forward to participating with all of you. Thank you, Mr. Bill Flanagan. Ladies and gentlemen, every year, including this year, the work of our volunteers is crucial for the success of our festival. Every year, we recognize the outstanding volunteers for their great effort and uh, for their dedication. By honoring them, the President's Volunteer Service Award and Community Outstanding Volunteer Award. This 2023 President's Volunteer Service Award goes to music, please. <laughs> so this 2023 President's Volunteer Service Award goes to Mr. Dalen Sun. Dalen Sun. Thank you. Mr. Dong Xiaoxing. Oh, sorry, Dong Xiongxin. Dong Xiongxin. Xiongxin Dong. Xiongxin Dong. Mr. Xiongxin Dong, please come to the stage. Thank you. And to Miss Sang Qingzi. Thank you. And 
The 2023 Community Outstanding Volunteer Awards goes to Mr. Li Daozheng. Li Daozheng. Li Daozheng, please come to the stage. Thank you. Miss Chen Ximeng. Chen Ximeng. Okay, Chen Ximeng. Mr. Li Yuhan. Li Yuhan. Li Yuhan. Sorry. Since it become P, I cannot recognize. Li Yuhan. Ximeng Lai Lama. Chen Ximeng. Chen Ximeng. Okay. Li Yuhan. And uh, Zhang Xin. Miss Zhang Xin. Welcome. Um, Zheng Ping. A Ping. Zheng Ping, please come to the stage. Zheng Ping. A Ping. Now let's welcome our honored guest, honored guest back to the stage and uh, the Pittsburgh Chinese Culture Center, our chairman, Mr. Dave Jiao. Come to the stage, please. And present the awards to our 2023 President's Volunteer Service Award and Community Outstanding Awards. Thank you. <laughs> and again, thank you all to be here with us today. Together, let's ce celebrate our cultural diversity contributing to the richness of our community. And now let's the party begin. Thank you. 亲爱的观众朋友们,大家好。秋日朗照,三会飘香,我们欢声笑语,齐聚一堂。思念亲人,眷恋家乡,我们无比自豪,高声欢唱。在这金风送爽的季节，来自天南海北的我们，再次相聚，向世界展现来自中华文化的光芒。感谢卷龙中国武术馆武师团队带来的精彩表演，感谢艾文林武带来的庄严国歌。现在我宣布，第八届匹
让我们以再次热烈的掌声，感谢来自文化中心华人艺术团舞蹈队的精彩表演。民族音乐，特别是来自新疆的歌舞文化，总是充满着浓厚的异域风情，总能带来特别的惊喜。接下来，我们有幸邀请到来自杜肯大学的预言老师，为我们带来天生之巅的思念。Let's express our appreciation for the fascinating dance performance by the Pittsburgh Chinese Culture Center dance group art team. They truly captivated us. Their exceptional dance performance has piqued my curiosity to explore more curiosity to, with the more diverse and culturally rich traditions. Next. We are fortunate to have Mrs. Yu here to serenade us, offering the glimpse of beauty of Xinjiang. Please welcome her. Thank you.
Next, we have Summer Ji from the Organization of Chinese American Pittsburgh Chapter bringing us a fan dance, Summer Festival. This is a festive dance depicting the spirit of summertime activities and the excitement of making memories and filling the days with endless delight. Let's welcome Summer.
，中国文化讲究阴阳平衡、刚柔相济。今天的演出将舞者的柔美与武术的阳刚完美融合。同时，我们感谢李马克师傅中国卷龙武术馆长期以来对武术意识的支持与推广。我们很幸运地邀请到他们为我们开场表演舞狮，还有更多的惊喜等待着大家。The concept of yin and yang is deeply rooted in Chinese culture. Today, Mark Lee with his team and the dance performer Summer G. Has beautifully embodied this concept, symbolizing the harmonious balance between yang and yin. It is worth noting that Markley, with his team, not only performed the land dance to kick off our event, but they will also show their incredible martial art skills. Please join me in welcoming them to the stage. Thank you. We're going to be starting off today with uh, some uh, qi gong. And some stretching exercises. What you would normally see in uh, China or nowadays any big city uh, around the world. Uh, morning wake up exercises uh, associated with uh, acupuncture point meridians and uh, good health. This would be a typical morning routine. Now we we'll move into the uh, Tai Chi forms. Uh, most people would say Tai Chi, but it's actually pronounced Tai Chi, like J I in English. Tai Chi Chuan. It means Grand Ultimate Fist or Grand Ultimate Boxing. So we've known Tai Chi as just a health exercise. Mainly people see it with senior citizens, but it's for everyone. Okay. So uh, good health for everybody. A slow movement helps you meditate, focus. And again, these are all movements that are lined up with acupuncture points and meridians in the body. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, my head student, John Sport, go in front. He'll be doing Taiji Sword. They also have weaponry.
Next, we'll be doing uh, hard style kung fu. So this is usually northern southern differences, uh, and uh, usually you'll see uh, in the kung fu movies, chuan uh, foot, hangar, uh, wing chun. So these different styles right, are usually uh, considered hard style, and we'll be doing those also empty hand and weaponry. So a different combination of things. John in front is doing a kind of a rare form. It's a, a hungar broadsword and shield form. Uh, very typical to southern style kung fu. Mainly seen in uh, Hong Kong. On stage, Tony and Kathy are doing a two-person staff form. Jason on the end is working with a bamboo ring and that's coming from Wing Chun style. Tyler in the middle is doing snake style boxing. They have a lot of different animal styles. Jordan and Bill in the back are doing Wing Chun. Two different forms, Silam Tao and Chong Q, and Adam is doing a small frame Bagua, coiling form. I'll be doing a monkey style form. Okay, now, uh, John in front is going to be doing a, another rare form. This is a chopstick and rice bowl form. Uh, this is atypical of a lot of southern styles, using any tool or utensil as a weapon. Striking with the chopsticks into the throat or eyes, groin. Pushing the bowl into their face. Of course, uh, down rice eating position. And out, good. Out. Okay, next. Thank you. We're going to show. Uh, from the Taiji and Qigong routines, we're gonna have my grandson come up front and we're gonna show you uh, what they call toy shou, push hands. It's a kind of connection, uh, human chess idea of how to make all the martial art functions work.
Thank you. Yeah, he's getting, he's 13 now, and uh, so next week we're going to stop feeding him. He's getting too big. Uh, I'm going to finish up with a drunken style. This is an actual form from China, and the performer uh, pretends to be intoxicated to throw off the opponent. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, David, from the Chinese Culture Center from Pittsburgh. Have a great rest of the day. Oh, see you soon. Hey, Linze, what do you remember from your most fond memories? It should be in my grandmother's house. My grandmother's cooking and my grandmother's cooking are my most favorite memories. Of course, some of the memories are also bitter and sad. 像是在碧蓝天空下生长的柠檬树，甜蜜美好、苦涩酸辣的情绪，都让我们的人生更加丰富多彩。是啊 ，When life gives you a lemon, make lemonade。下面有请文化中心华人艺术合唱团带来合唱表演《外婆的澎湖湾和柠檬树》，带我们一起领略人生的酸甜苦辣。Hey, Linda, what's your most cherished childhood memory? I have so many wonderful memories that I would love to share with you. What's yours? That's a great question. For me, the most unforgettable memories are the times I spent with my grandparents, enjoying their delicious Chinese food and candies. I can't wait to hear your memories. It sounds like we had similar memories with our grandparents, but also there were some bitter sweet times, like my first crush that gave me a little bit sour time. Most of all, though, I enjoy those scenery afternoons, which I could simply enjoy the sweet moment of life. Indeed, Tanfeng, those first memories hold a special place in our heart. Next. We are fortunate to have the Pittsburgh Chinese Culture Center acquire here to invoke those cherished memories with songs. Absolutely. Grandma's Peng Hu Bay and Lemon Tree will be performed by them. Please give them a warm welcome as they take on the stage.
Red color represents luck and fortune and brings us the best. Lanterns carry on wishes and hopes, symbolizing happiness. This red lantern dance will show us the tradition of Chinese culture. Let's welcome the students from Yanlai Dance Academy bringing us this Chinese dance piece, Red Lantern. Please welcome them.
Thank you so much. It's our honor to have you here with us on the stage. And can you introduce yourself to us? Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, Pittsburgh. Hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Geetha. I am Bollywood dance instructor at Los Abrosis. Um, I do a lot of dances. This is going to be the one which I'm performing today. It's called Women Empowerment which will show you the boldness, the shyness, and also the very beauty and the slyness in a woman. So that's what my piece is about today. Awesome, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you, Gita, and to, I cannot wait. And let's give a round of applause for Gita. Thank you. Chumanshadaizmanjawa Up next, I'm excited to present what I have been eagerly anticipating, a dance performance by the Pittsburgh Chinese School Junior Latin Dance Class. Those kids growing in the Chinese culture and the Western culture together, and I wish these talented kids the very best. Let's welcome them to the stage. Thank you.
如果您看过二零一二年的电影《年度学生》，那您可能对歌曲《Rada》有印象。Ruby J 将宝莱坞和卡塔克风格融合，根据《Rada》编排了一支印度舞。下面即将出场的是来自 Ruby J 舞蹈学校的学生，他们的年龄只有七到九岁。请大家以热烈的掌声欢迎小演员们登场。The beginning Bollywood kata class, ranging ages from seven to nine, will be dancing to the song Rada from the 2012 film Student of the Year. This piece, directed and choreographed by Ruby J, is a fusion of both Bollywood and kata style. Please welcome Kavya Ishavi from Ruby J Dance Academy. Welcome.
，感谢活泼可爱的小天使们的演出，再一次掌声送给他们。Thanks for the angels, more applause for them. 越过高耸的城墙，穿过大街小巷，你出现在我的世界，给我带来了无限的幻想。我飘向寒冷的北方，心中的烈火依然为你点亮。女士们、先生们，接下来有请匹兹堡大学匹兹堡文化中心许潇婷老师为我们带来歌曲《天外来物》，飘向北方。Over the towering walls, over the avenues and halls, you are just the outsider floating my sky, bring the ecstasy to my life. I'm I'm the one in the frozen north, back and forth, and you are the fire, taking me to homeland warmth. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Xiao Tingxu with the song Tian Wai Lai Wu and the Stranger in the North.
，谢谢大家。这首歌好不好听？大家听得开不开心？还要不要再听一首？我听到几个说不想的，不想听也得再听一首。下面一首歌叫《飘向北方》，是一首非常嗨的歌哈，希望大家能跟我一起嗨起来。有人失去了自我，手足无措，四处漂流。有人为了梦想，为了三寸两家糊口。他住在燕郊区，残破的旧石构，御用机的大楼里，陌生人都白吃饭。地他白头，写着绿绿，怀抱着多少憧憬。我反在九三年后，公路内心盼着奇迹。
江南，云烟十里醉如梦。江南意，醉意是杭州。相比忆江南的柔情，由脍炙人口的维吾尔族传统情歌改编的中国呃琵琶名曲《送我一支玫瑰花》，则是热情奔放。由分弹、半轮、长轮、弹挑、摇指等弹奏技巧流畅而舒展。接下来，我们将有请匹兹堡国乐团美丽的演奏家们为我们带来国乐合奏《忆江南》和《送我一支玫瑰花》。指导老师杨景老师。The sunrise at the riverside. The red flowers, the green river waves, and the unforgotten land, all which that I can't but admire. Next, the,、um, we are going to enjoy two famous Chinese music pieces played by Chinese instruments: pipa, gu zhen, ruan. Let's welcome Yangjing Chinese Ensemble to bring us recalling the sound of Yangzi River and send me a rose. Let's welcome.
中的歌曲《乌迪起舞》，这支舞由 Ruby J 指导，在 a j e l i s o y 女士的帮助下编排，是印度西方半古典的结合，融入了宝莱坞、卡塔克和芬兰民歌舞蹈风格。The intermediate Bollywood class, ranging in ages from 13 to 14, will be dancing to the song "Woody" from the 2010 film. Who's a rich? This piece, directed by Ruby Jean and Carol Groff, with the help of Miss Ajali Soy, is an Indo-Western semi-classical fusion incorporating Bollywood Kathak flamenco dance styles. Please welcome Kayla and Ayushi on the stage.
带领的拼宝华人艺术团旗袍队，将给我们带来一段洋溢着浓浓古典韵味的旗袍秀《梦里水乡》。旗袍作为中华文化的一种符号，一直以来是中国服饰的代表之一。穿着旗袍的中国女性，更能显示东方女子的庄重、秀美和典雅。一曲《梦里水乡》，使我们的思绪回到了那温暖如春的苏州水乡。青山依偎绿水，晚霞亲吻夕阳。请欣赏旗袍秀《梦里水乡》。Chongsam is a Chinese national dress representing the elegance and glamour of Chinese history. Next, we have the Qi Pao team from PCCR group bringing us a Qi Pao performance, Water Village in My Dream. This song will bring us back to the warm and spring-like Suzhou Water Village, where the Emerald Mountains are surrounded by green water and the evening glow kisses the sunset. Please enjoy the Chongsan show. Water Village in my dream.
可知柳暖逢人俊，回首东风一段愁。《牡丹亭》是我国明代剧作家汤显祖的传奇作品，描写了大家闺秀杜丽娘和书生柳梦梅的生死之恋。而金梦更是《牡丹亭》中脍炙人口的一折。接下来就有请贾永红老师和李俊清老师为我们演绎昆曲《牡丹亭·金梦》。昆曲 opera is a unique type of local Chinese opera. Its style is lingering, graceful, and delicate. The Peony Pavilion is a legendary work by Xian Zhu Tan, a Chinese playwright in Ming Dynasty. While awakened from the dream, it's a popular break in the Peony. Pavilion. The great narrates that after visiting the garden, Du Liniang feels sleepy and falls into a dream, where she reunites with a handsome scholar and falls in love with him. Next, please welcome Miss Yong Hongjia and Mr. Jin Qingli for us to interpret A Weekend from the Dream.